One step equations, part one. We're doing addition and subtraction. What is an equation? An equation is a mathematical sentence uh, that has two expressions separated by an equal sign. So the equal sign in words can sometimes be um, denoted as equals or is or is equal to, same as, yields or result in. These are common phrases used to, uh, to say that there is a sentence. So let's do some practice of translating sentences to equations. If we have the first one, the sum of w and 8 is equal to 12, we see the phrase is equal to. And we have the sum of w and 8 on the left-hand side, or on one side, and the equal sign uh, 12 is the simple expression on the right side. Number B, if we're looking at the difference between a number and 6 is the same as 15, on the left-hand side we look like, uh, it looks like we have the number and 6 with a minus sign in between and the equal sign and then the 15. 12 less than a number is 9, so we have on the left-hand side 12 less than a number that is going to be denoted by uh, y minus 12 is and that's the equal sign and then 9 is your second expression so these equations can be solved for and let's take a look at uh, solving addition and subtraction equations an addition equation is an equation where the left hand side or one of the sides has an addition operation and the right hand side is just a number so to solve for that, uh, we would subtract the same number from each side. So it's basically, if you have an addition equation, you subtract. If you have a subtraction equation, you add to isolate the variable. So whether you added or subtracted, you're going to want to um, check your solution. After you've isolated the variable, you have a potential solution. You want to check your solution by substituting uh, evaluating the expression with that possible or potential solution. Let's take a look at an example. y plus 8 is equal to 22. We have an addition equation and we have a plus 8 next to the variable. And so here's where we take the plus 8 and we, are, we will subtract 8 from both sides as our first step. In subtracting 8 from both sides, we have uh, the left-hand side would just be y by itself because we have y minus 0, and then the right-hand side would be 22 minus 8. So your potential solution will end up being 14 in this case, y is equal to 14. Uh, we should always check our work when we're doing algebra, and we can check that by evaluating our original equation with uh, the y equals 14 and if we get a true statement then we have in fact found our correct solution and so we do that by plugging 14 back into y and we see that if we do that we get 22 equals 22 which is a true statement so our solution must have been y equals 14 let's take another example y minus 3.5 is equal to 0 0.3 this time we have a subtraction equation and because we're subtracting 3.5 from y we want to isolate y and we would do that by adding 3.5 to both sides so when we add 3.5 to both sides again the 3.5 with a y in it will become y minus 0 and then we have 0.3 plus 3.5 so our potential solution is y equals to 3.8. Uh, we put that back into the original equation to see if we got, the, in, in fact, the correct solution. And if you put that back into, put 3.8 back into y, you see that you get another true statement. Another example, we have x plus 1 fifth equals 4 and 1 third. In this problem, we have an addition equation, 
and so we would subtract one-fifth from both sides. Subtracting one-fifth from both sides, we would need to do a little bit of arithmetic to combine the fractions four and a third minus one-fifth. Uh, but if you do that, you'll see that that's equal to four and two-fifteenths. And this is our potential solution. We plug that back into x to see that we actually got the correct answer by getting a true statement at the end. One last example where we put ourselves in a situation, an applied situation. Suppose that an online retailer charges shipping fee of $5.99. The cost of a book, including shipping fee, is, was $12.99. Write an equation to determine the cost of the book without the shipping fee. So, and then solve for this. So we can look at this as um, the cost of the book plus the shipping fee will end up equaling $12.99. So the cost of the book, if we let that be equal to x, we have x plus 5.99 equals 12.99 as our equation. This is an addition equation, so we would subtract 5.99 from both sides. And when we do that, we simplify the right-hand side. Uh, the left-hand side will become x, and we simplify the right-hand side and get 7. So it looks like our book costs $7.